betrayed by my own family. This is how Freddy Rees, who grew up in an Orthodox Jewish community in Brooklyn, New York, described her 15 years living under an arranged marriage. After fighting to get a divorce and getting a degree against all odds and saving some money, Rees took her two daughters and ran away. My family and my community shunned me. They still consider me dead more than a decade later. Her experience turned Rees into an activist determined to fight against arranged, forced and child marriage. She founded Unchained at Last, a New Jersey NGO that helps victims of child marriage. Since 2011, more than 550 people have managed to escape such marriages thanks to Reese. And in 2018, her efforts led to New Jersey becoming one of only two states to legally prohibit marriage for people under 18. It's really shocking that when I first started doing this, marriage before the age of 18 was legal in all 50 U.S. states. The reason 18 is so crucial is because that's the age of both. Before the age of 18, you simply don't have the rights that you need to protect yourself from a forced marriage. In most U.S. states, young people are allowed to get married at the age of 16. Two states allow marriages at 14, and 13 more states don't have an age requirement at all. Idaho has the highest child marriage rate in the country, with more than 4,000 such marriages taking place between 2000 and 2010. In 2019, Democrat Melissa Wintrow tried to raise the minimum age to 16, but failed. With the history and conservative nature of this state, I proposed what I thought was a very reasonable compromise to at least set the floor at 16, which matches our um, age of consent um, and our statutory rape laws. In statute right now, um, it says that a child could be married with court approval. It says, quote, if it is in the best interest of society. And that is a huge indicator currently that um, basically a reflection of, I think, outdated values. In 2019, Louisiana raised the minimum marriage age to 16, and the age difference between the spouses when one is underage cannot exceed three years. The Louisiana Family Forum was amongst those who opposed this change. Here in Louisiana, we greatly value marriage, and we believe that marriage is an important institution. It's the bedrock of our country, of our culture, of our society, and it ensures and uh, helps children uh, for the rearing and nurturing of children. So we think marriage is a very, very important institution. The debate on the minimum marriage age took a kind of dark turn in the sense that it seemed to denigrate marriage. Lawmakers and activists fighting against child marriages say the problem is deeper than just a debate about what makes a family. If you look at the demographics of the kids getting married, I mean, they're white, middle-class kids. This is our problem, and it is deeply rooted in a history of sexism in our country. I think it's pretty clear that it's human rights violation because we have research about brain development, and kids are not ready to make lifelong, lasting decisions about their future. For Reese, there is no debate about whether child marriages should be banned. After all, she says, the U.S. government condemns such traditions that exist in other countries, calling them violations of human rights. According to the data collected at Unchained at Last, more than 250,000 children got married between 2000 and 2010. The majority are underage girls marrying older men. For Anusha Vitisyan in Washington, NRI's VOA News.